Hey guys, it's Raphael, and here I am with Tony Cipriano's um, Caesar. Excuse me if I pronounced your last name wrong, Tony. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, again, so anyway, this is a very cool, uh, says a one-third scale bus, but compared to the Cinnamon Cat one-third scale, it seems to be bigger than one-third scale. Same with the Conan that I have. Uh, so, I don't know. You know, maybe everybody has different one-third scale measurements. But either way, it's very cool because it's nice and, and big. Um, now this is a very cool sculpt uh, and it looks just like Caesar. I mean, it's awesome because I love this guy. Uh, but anyways, the reason I'm doing this video, I wasn't going to, but I figured it'd be very cool to see. Um, something new that I'm going to try, so we will all learn from this. Um, I am going to make him out of silicone and put uh, real hair on there and everything. Uh, now I did ask permission um, to Tony and he granted it. Thank you for that Tony um, for me to be able to have my own little silicone bus. So again thanks Tony for uh, granting your permission to do this. So um, again let's get this guy going and hopefully he looks pretty cool in silicone. Alright so we are using Brush On 50 uh, which is a brushable mold compound and we're just going to do equal amounts of each so I'm going to start off with one I don't even know if I need a cup of this but uh, let's get that going so we'll do one of these guys and now here's the other half I have this on my other videos as well but let's do every step on this guy. Kind of cool. Again, equal amounts. And we're just going to mix this up really good. Alright, now that the stuff is nice and mixed, uh, I went ahead and sprayed this sucker with Universal Mold Release. Uh, so that way the urethane doesn't stick to it or else it would be impossible to get rid of that stuff. And we are just going to brush, make sure we get all the nice crevices in there. Okay, so as I was doing this, I thought this thing was uh, sitting on here pretty well, and it wasn't, so the sucker just tipped over on me, and good thing I had my gloves on. Uh, so I had to pick them up and set them back up here, and so that sucked. Anyway, so you want to make sure your statue or whatever you're doing is, is secured, because <laughs> this was not. Anyway, I'm going to go thin on this. I don't think I need to add more because what I really want to do is once this is done is create a, I'll probably use plaster bandages to create a shell and I want to uh, pour in some uh, clay which I would be using the monster clay just to get the uh, the important thing is the, 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 the face the detail of the face because that's what, what uh, you know, make Caesar. The hair will be all carved off and all that. So even if I don't get any of this perfect in the clay, it doesn't matter because I'll be taking all that off. The important thing is the front of the face. And the ears would help, but if not, the ears are a lot easier to create than, than the face itself. As it's thickening up, I'm brushing it upward. Now, if any of you would like one of these, not silicone, get in touch with Tony. I, I'm not sure if he's still producing these, but uh, they're very cool. Uh, but again, you know, um, I would not be producing these. This is just a one of a kind for myself. Again, thanks Tony for allowing me to do this to your work. It really is amazing. 
Shit, it's good time. Okay guys, so now that it's dry, I mean I could continue adding more of the uh, uh, rubber here to avoid this undercut because by putting the shell on here and you want to pry it open this one may not allow it to come out but this is the hair so if it messes up it's no big deal uh, so most likely when I do the plaster I'm going to use plaster bandages on this I'm going to pull it down this way so this will come off and I drew a line here of where this other half will come off um, I could use uh, the uh, other material, which is this stuff, but to do this as a shell, it would take about four hours for me to be able to do the other side. So I'm going with plastered bandages, which would just be quicker since this mold is really not an important one. So we'll start off with the front part. plaster bandages in. This is extra fast set plaster bandages. I'll do this set first. Yes, it looks ghetto, but it will do the job. So once the first half is dry, adding some Vaseline on this side here. So the other part of the uh, plaster bandages won't get stuck to it. And we will be able to separate it. Just regular petroleum Vaseline. And it's the same process. Alright, so once both pieces are dry, you want to pry it open. Till it comes loose. And this is, depending the undercuts, can be tricky or hard. But, uh, it's coming along. Hats here. Okay, how the hell does this go? There we go. So this will hold the uh, rubber piece in there. So let's get this rubber piece out. Cut the flashing. We don't need. All right, what we want to do now is cut this up so we can pull them out. Shit. If I got another new knife, this one not as sharp. See if that's enough. If not, we'll need to cut a little bit more. But we'll see if we can get them out, then that'd be cool. Yep, it's a tough one, so I'm gonna cut some more. we 
go as if nothing ever happened. Now we have the negative. So we're going to fill this up with clay. Put them back in here nice and snug. Okay, and so now we're going to use monster clay. We're going to the kitchen and microwave it and make it nice and liquidy. And we're going to pour it into this mold. And we will come out with a, an exact copy of this in clay. Okay, so we're going to use the clay that we had left over from Superman body. And let's melt them. Okay, so right now I'm going to pour this very hot melted clay in the mold and the important thing is to try to get the front part of the face, which is the important part. So I pour it in. Swishing it around so hopefully we can get some of the, all the good detail. Okay, so uh, I filled it up and I actually put it in the freezer because I want it nice and real hard uh, so we can um, demold them and not ruin the sculpt. Okay, so now that it's cold, let's separate the mold. carefully open up the mold here actually it's still kind of warm so I hope I don't mess up the front part of it ah, shit all right, here he is, but uh, the nose did come off, but that's an easy fix, so I'll just leave it as is. But here we have him. All right, so I went ahead and quickly uh, fixed the nose there. Oops. Okay, so I quickly fixed the nose there, and of course there's still a lot more work to do. I will be shaving all this hair off, all this off, Take this off, I'm going to shave it off and uh, leave, make them bald. All this hair is coming off, so it will be kind of like a bald monkey. Uh, as uh, the eyes in here, I'll make those eyes covered up, don't want those holes in there. And the wrinkles, I'll probably go over them just to make them more uh, prominent and smooth them out, but a bit deeper being that it will be silicone so hopefully it transfers nice um, so here we are right now let's start shaving them okay so as you can see Caesar is now bald uh, I did show the process but uh, I just used this tool and just started carving out the hair uh, next step is to fix the ears smooth them out uh, wrinkles, I will emphasize more the wrinkles, cover up the hole in the eyeball, and smooth out the wrinkles a bit so it won't be as rough. And then make a mold and get a uh, silicone copy. On the side here, as you can see, I'm still working on Yoda. Still need some detail, but uh, anyway, doing a little bit of everything at the same time, plus other projects. So here is Caesar, bald headed, Kojak Caesar. Alright. <laughs>